The net is controlled by a variety of entities. Uh, the most obvious is your internet service provider, and they control traffic according to their own acceptable, acceptable use policies. Um, but as far as ownership of the net, a lot of that belongs to governments who control the entire communications infrastructure in a given country. They may also place pressure on internet service providers and others uh, to, for various motivations, uh, including thwarting activism or uh, regular police activities that are quite legitimate. Because the government not only censors the, in the cyberspace, but also tries to, uh, tries to penetrate to users' personal information. So it's very important for the users on the ground to protect their privacy, to be anonymous in, on the Internet. It is possible to stay anonymous in the Internet, but it is difficult and you have to understand uh, what the net uh, works like to stay fully anonymous. And so the government, like Iranian government, Chinese government, or Cuban government, they are trying, they are trying different ways, like man in the middle attack, or different ways of like fake HTTPS cer certificates. They are trying to have your um, personal information. So th that that's very important that you know how to defend yourself, how to defend, how to protect your privacy. So people often have a subjective feeling of anonymity on the internet because you don't always have to sign your name to things and you can access things without saying who you are so it can feel very anonymous. Uh, certainly compared to everyday life, using the internet feels very anonymous. Technically, anonymity can be very difficult because even as you feel anonymous, you're often leaving traces behind that could identify you in the future. There are lots of tools, you just need to have the knowledge to get advantage of it. The internet may feel anonymous without any effort, but it really isn't. Your internet service provider can see what you're doing. Uh, they may sell that information to advertisers. Uh, your location is broadcasted, your physical location is broadcasted with an IP address. So you have, to, you have to use tools that protect your anonymity. You have to think about your behavior online. Even if you have a really good tool that provides anonymity, if you use it to tell people, hi, I'm Bob Smith and I live at 101 Main Street, then it's completely useless.